Well, hello and welcome to the Tuesday edition of DC Today. Uh, it was uh, another rally day in markets. You had the Dow up 1%, the S&P up 1.3%, the NASDAQ up 1.5%. Uh, that's over 316 points for the Dow. And of course, it was up big yesterday as well. So some degree of calming in markets around the presumption that some of the bank instabilities are coming and that where there may be ongoing vulnerabilities, there will be more government backstop or support. That's the, the best read I'd have to offer on it. Along with the, the market's assumption that the Fed is most certainly getting ready to lay down, tomorrow will be the day we'll hear from the Federal Open Market Committee. They've been meeting all day today. And the question is whether or not they will uh, raise rates a quarter point and announce or signify some intent to, to pause from here, uh, which is what I expect, or perhaps that they may not even raise rates at all. That futures market action had gotten all the way down to 50-50 between uh, no hike tomorrow and a quarter point hike tomorrow. But um, as of today, the last time I looked at it a short while ago, it was back above 80% odds in the futures market of the Fed hiking a uh, quarter point tomorrow and um, a very, uh, less than 20% chance that there'd be no hike. So we shall see both how the market responds to what the Fed does tomorrow, but also what the Fed actually does, what he says, how he says it. And you can be sure I'll be here tomorrow to give you that full report. Um, when we talk about the market's action today, it was energy leading the way up um, o over 2.5%. Uh, it was, excuse me, up over 3.5%. It was financials near uh, the high as well, up 2.5%. Um, the sector that was down the most was utilities, which was actually down about 2%. So um, you had a wide dispersion of results in this rally, but a lot of the stuff that had been hurting the most last week leading the way this week, financials and energy. Um, the other thing I just want to say before I let you go in a short uh, addition today is that the bond market, I believe, is entirely possibly already put in its high on the yields. The lows of bond pricing have been put in from the um, uh, one year all the way up to the 10 year in terms of the yield curve. Uh, the 10 year was up about 10 base points today. It had gotten down to about three and a half and closed it at three six. But if you recall, its high point was about 4.2, 4.25%. I don't think we're gonna see that level again any, anytime soon. The one year um, had been above 5%. It's now down to four and a half. Again, I don't think we're going back to five on the one year. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't believe so. In which case that would mean that you've seen highs in yields and, and at whatever pace it happens, would expect to see yields come lower from here and bond prices experience that kind of price appreciation. Oil's back up near 70, not quite at 70, but it got down the mid 60s, come back up to the $70 range. So I think besides some ongoing discussion about where exactly the FDIC is going to go, uh, what policymakers wanna see happen on the explicit nature of FDIC limits for depositors versus what they leave implicit, I think that's a big topic right now that's still TBD. And then China uh, buying $88 billion of oil, gas, and coal from Russia since the war started over the last one year period. They had been doing 40 to 50 billion. It's all the way up to 88 billion. They bought more from Russia over the last year than they did from Saudi Arabia. And that's a story I wanna mention just so that it doesn't get out of our sight, out of our mind that the changing parts in these kind of global partnerships and where Russia and China fit in to the geopolitical landscape is a big deal. What it means for the dollar, what it means for Middle Eastern oil, what it means for the whole dynamic with Russia, Ukraine, um, I think is significant. And I'm watching it closely and reading as much as I can for the tentacles to the story that may be relevant to us as investors. So that's basically uh, all I have for today. Uh, read the written DC today. I'm trying, uh, experimenting with a couple new ideas in the format, make it a little less rigid, a little less templated, and a little more uh, freestyle. And, and if you want to send us feedback, I'm, I'm very happy to read it. And we'll be back at you tomorrow, Wednesday, for Fed Day. And like I always say, up or down, Fed Day is the best day.
Uh, thanks for listening to, watching, and reading the DC Today. Mm -hmm.